Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Ben Wright. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, it's been a very long time. I haven't filmed any video since November. I've been kind of busy with stuff lately, but I'm back and I'm here to film another video about the Saucony Indoor Pin Speed. To start off this video, actually, I'm gonna do a little vlog about what my life is like today. Um, I'm not sure if you knew this, but Texas is in a big freeze right now, so I thought it'd be cool to film what a Texas person thinks about the snow. And if you're wanting to get to the review of the endorphin speed, go to this time right here. Okay, so this morning I went on an eight mile run, 832 pace, I think it was on Strava. Um, it was kind of impossible to run in this snow. I don't really like running in the snow at all. Like, I'm not used to it. And anyway, like, Yesterday, it was easier to run, but today, um, like, there's a, like, a little thin layer of ice. I'm not sure what it was, but over the snow, and you would just step down, your foot would get caught, or it was, it was just like running on sand. It was impossible. <laughs>
I'm not sure the exact term, but that's what I'm gonna call them. I did some side crunches and I finished it off with a, some sort of leg curl, also for the abs. And after that, I took a quick shower. Um, I did some Just Dance. So now it is time for the review. Saucony Endorphin Speed is probably one of the best shoes ever created, I'm not gonna lie. This shoe, I am at like 550 miles in and it still looks fresh. So I'm gonna get to 600 miles, but I just wanted to film a review right now. So just so you know, I am gonna get it to 600 miles. This shoe is so good. I actually bought another pair. Instead, I'm just gonna try out spikes for the shoe testing. And also I might buy flats. I'm thinking about it, not sure. Okay, so the shoe comes in around eight ounces. It is a very lightweight shoe. You can feel it on your foot. Um, the foam in this is Power on PB foam. It is Saucony's very responsive lightweight foam. It does have a nylon plate, not a carbon fiber plate, like in the Endorphin Pro. This is the Endorphin Speeds, has a nylon plate. Um, I'm not gonna feel it too much, but definitely if you, if you do the bend test, you can feel it. This shoe is made for speed. It is definitely a speed shoe, um, but it can do it all. It has enough cushioning like cushioning soft enough for easy days um you can do fast up tempo days because of the weight and the plate and also i've even raced my mile personal record in this shoe um i got a 444 at the schrader mile i'll see if i can find some film of that sitting a vlog cabcash.com <laughs> uh i don't know again drew <laughs> I got the time I wanted. I pumped. <laughs> yeah. Same. That's what happens when you PR. Like, exactly. Like, you're Same very happy for the rest of the night. Yeah. 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 Josh. Anything for the vlog? Hey. Uh, I'm not thinking about it. No. I'm just going to race. Hey. Yeah. That's good. Vlog? Uh, I don't know. About to go run track race and XC spikes. <laughs> Might be fun. Is there anything you want to say to the vlog? Oh man, we just we got a great event out here today. Everybody's PRing so far. Um, shout out Cab Cash, get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't use Venmo, use Cab Cash. That's an official sponsorship. Hey, we're just like Jake, okay? We're on the come up. We're on the come up. This is where you insert like a one minute plug. Charlie, one back. back. And we're off. Go, oh, man. Let's go. Everybody just ran a 444, so that means I'm heading to the BYU cross country camp. If you're watching this, tell me um, when you're going. So I want to go with some people I know on Strava because I know a lot of you guys are subscribed, and it, it's been a big race. I was really hurting, but I'm super happy because now I can say I'm the fastest one in my family. So yeah. So overall, this shoe is insanely light. If you want all the specs on it, you could go check out Seth James Demore channel. He did a video about this shoe, but like this shoe is insanely fast. Probably the best shoe in the world right now for everyday use. So. I think the shoe was worth the $160 it cost. That's why I'm buying another one. Seriously, go buy this shoe. Um, I'm thinking of what else to say about this. The drawback, whenever I first turned on this shoe, my pinky toe was in a lot of pain. It seemed a little too narrow, so maybe Sockney could make it a little wider. Not too much wider, but a little wider to make it a bit more comfortable. But one thing I really liked about this shoe well obviously i liked the speed of this shoe not its name is the speed but how fast it is but it has a little piece of rubber right on the side where on the 
New Balance Beacon V3 got a giant rip. So I think if New Balance were to fix that rip with this, the New Balance Beacon V3, it'd be a lot better. But in the Saucony, they put a little rubber thing there. So I'm very happy about that. Thank you, Saucony. And also for something just random about the shoe, the heel cup. It's kind of strange. I'm not quite sure what they're going for, but if maybe they could remove that. I, uh, I'm not sure how it would be, but I, I feel like they could remove it. Anyway, that's my full review of the Saucony Endorphin Speed. Please go buy the shoe. This is the top shoe in the world right now, and I think it's worth the 160 bucks, 100%. That's it for today, and I'll see you maybe next time.